Hey, I want to talk today about uh, buying used microphones. Um, this isn't about uh, scams on eBay or fake SM58s, but uh, just something that can happen in a real world situation that you got to look out for uh, buying used microphones. So this is an Audio Technica 841A. This is a conference uh, boundary microphone. You put it on a conference table to record a uh, conference or somebody talking. I've used them inside of pianos. They're really, really neat. They have a uh, removable interchangeable element. That's an Omni element. That's where it screws on and actually makes connection. Coming off the back of this though, um, it's an unbalanced uh, microphone unit. It uses a little TA3 uh, mini XLR to go down to the power module. And uh, that's where it gets balanced and uh, receives its phantom power um, and has a low cut switch, things like that. Uh, there's tons of these on eBay without that power module, and why, while it will work with a cable that's adapted just from the Mini XLR to full uh, size XLR, um, you're losing all the benefits of that power module, and I was looking to buy a bunch of these, and there's some really good deals, 25 30 bucks for this microphone without the power module. Um, but without it, it's really, uh, it's really not the same mic, is it? Uh, so this is the power module, the 8531. We'll take a quick look inside here. Um, you can see on the left when it stands up that there's a low cut. Uh, there's an all the way off position. That's for when you're using the battery that goes in the top there. It's a single double A will power this. So if you're out recording somewhere and need battery power, don't have phantom, that's really awesome. So there's an all the way off. There's a uh, middle position which is on but with no EQ. And then the top position there was on with the uh, 18 dB per octave, uh, 80, and a roll off starting at 80 hertz, um, which is pretty pretty helpful for things. Handling noise on a table when somebody's banging around on a table or HVAC. Very handy for getting rid of that before you get to the mic pre uh, so you're not overloading um, your mic pre with big booms and stuff when people tap on or boom on a table, something like that. So when we pop this guy open here, we'll see uh, the transformer that uh, gives us the balanced low impedance output there. Uh, there's some circuitry on there for the EQ. You can see this gray wire is coming over from the three position switch and that's you know power and EQ uh, engaging the EQ there. So it's a pretty simple little package, but without it, you're you're really uh, you're unbalanced for one. So that that's a major deal nowadays with laptops and cell phones all over conference tables. Uh, if you're running an unbalanced signal um, through all that 20, 30 feet, I've seen you know, some of these cables that it comes with are you know 20, 30 feet in these auctions. Um, you know, so you got to look out for that. If if you wanted to buy this pack after the fact, if you bought one of those, it's a $99 uh, pack. I think they're a little cheaper than that if you buy them from a dealer but that's the list price and you definitely want to get this when you're buying a microphone that requires it whether it's this or uh, the ATM 350 which uses a similar pack the 8542 uh, any of the microphones that require this pack you want to make sure you get it and there's tons of stuff out there that uh, is for sale without them where they've been adapted not sure why they were ever adapted who took all the power modules wondering if it's a installation thing somebody who's running a you know if you're running a situation where an unbalanced short run is fine that's that's one thing but uh, you definitely need those power modules something to look out for like subscribe if this is helpful uh, to you um, and good luck buying mics